Aaron Rodgers has gotten uh, progressively needier. Uh, now he's lashing out at uh, Bill Cower, Nate Burleson, Jermichael Finley, uh, trying to control all the reporting on him, which is ludicrous because those are certainly highly qualified people. I always had a theory, and I've, I've talked about this for years on Aaron Rodgers. He's a weird fit. He's a SoCal guy and a weird fit in, you know, small town Wisconsin. Brett Favre wasn't a weird fit in Wisconsin because he was a he was a southern small town guy. And middle of nowhere, that's where he was born, and that's where the Packers are. It's different for Aaron Rodgers. And if he was the quarterback of the L.A. Rams and he had a day off, because remember, the team plays Sunday, they get Monday off, and Tuesday's a film day. A lot of time off early in the week. Aaron Rodgers was the quarterback of the L.A. Rams. We have 37 music venues. He loves music in Southern California. Eight pro teams, two major colleges, the beach. You can go out in public in Los Angeles. Nobody cares. My wife ran into Don Cheadle at a restaurant two days ago. Nobody was bothering him. I've run into virtually Harrison Ford, Mark Harmon, Bob Saget, uh, Matt Damon. Nobody cares in Southern California. Literally nobody cares. Um... And that matters. Aaron Rodgers, though, in Green Bay, can't leave the house. Uh, by October, the weather's lousy. There's no beach. Most of his friends live in Southern California. He's not married. He has no kids. And he doesn't have a tight relationship with his family. That's well documented. So what does Aaron Rodgers do in his days off? Consumes lots of media, especially media talking about Aaron Rodgers. Uh, this is something I've talked about all the time. In my family, we have what I call phone down Friday. We, are, we all put our phones down on Friday, and I get away from sports. Where does Aaron Rodgers go? He's not married, no kids. Friends are in L.A., not close to his family, can't go out in public. Weather's crappy indoors. He's trapped. And I think when I watch Aaron Rodgers react the way he is to criticism, Russell Wilson, married, kids, close with his family, Lots of business relationships. He's too busy to worry about what I'm saying about him. Tom Brady, married, bunch of kids, multiple business partners. He's too busy. You know, in Seattle, in Florida, you know, you can go out. Although Brady probably gets mobbed in Tampa too. But, I, but I've said this about Aaron Rodgers. He's got rabbit ears. And the worst thing you can ever try to do as an athlete is to control the media. Bill Cowher, Nate Burleson, Jermichael Finley are going to say whatever they want to say. Stop being so insecure and sensitive and needy. This weekly grievance session is embarrassing. I mean, it's so below a Tom Brady. Can you imagine Tom Brady spending 30 seconds ripping the coverage of Tom Brady? <laughs> I mean, it's so below uh, his standard. And this is something I've talked about all the time with young broadcasters. Have a life beyond sports. Get off your phone. If you're spending five and a half hours on your phone, it's going to lead to some, some soul searching and insecurity. And, and, I, and I feel with Aaron Rodgers, Green Bay is a very, very odd, difficult fit for him. He's by himself a lot. And, and he, you know, Aaron's the kind of guy that he's he's pretty global. He's pretty worldly. I mean, he wants to do other things. In Los Angeles, you'd have 37, 38 music venues. You could go walk outside your door. You would literally not be bothered. I feel he's kind of trapped. It gets in his head, and he's consuming too much media, mostly about himself.